nervous? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's showing. Yeah. It's okay, showing. I'm gonna need you to relax. Cause you look, you you giving some awkward energy. <laughs> Welcome back to Samantha K with All Things Random. And in today's segment of your local black business owner, we have Jamal Wilson joining us today. But before we get into more about him and his business, I want y'all to subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you can see more of these black business owners every Saturday of each month. <laughs> okay, Jamal, well, thanks for coming on our channel. We're um, excited to hear everything that you have in store for us. So just tell us and the viewers about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Jameis Jamal Wilson, depending on uh, how you met me. You know me from years ago, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I am currently a teacher in Simpson County School District. I am a seventh grade history teacher oh. and basketball coach. Uh, also assistant football, I help out with, uh, you know, all athletics as a coach. Okay. Oh, um, when did you start um, at the school? Uh, I started in Mendenhall in 2017, but I've been mm. teaching since 2014. Okay, I do, I do know that it's that you're a newlywed. Yeah. So how long y'all been married now? We've been married going on three years now, on June 10th. Oh. My wife's gonna kill me if I, if <laughs> you I almost missed that memory. It. <laughs> if I had that memory, I should be like, uh, when I when I be sure you say that right. <laughs> yes. June tenth. Okay, <laughs> so tell weeks. us a little bit about your business. Okay, uh, my business is Famous Jamin's Wings. I just recently got the LLC for the business. Oh wow! Uh, I serve wings across the metro area. Uh, I can bring it to your house. You can come to my house, or we can meet at a mutual location. Okay. It depends on how you want them done or how you want them brought to you. So, tell us the brainstorming process of how your business got started. Okay, um, it really started a couple years ago. I I like to cook for fun. It's, I love to eat. I'm gonna just be completely honest. I like to honest. eat too. <laughs> I love to eat, and uh, I, my wife's friend knew how to cook chicken wings. Oh. And, and so we called him about, hey man, how do you cook those chicken wings that, that you used to cook back in college? So y'all stealing recipes? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I took what he said and I put my own little spin okay. on it. Okay. And he basically said, you need to buy a uh, fryer, you know, uh, a deep fryer that you can buy from Walmart okay. for like $40, $50. And, uh, started cooking chicken, like we'll have uh, little gatherings at the house and my friends would always say, hey man, you need to make some money off this because if you ever did, you know, I'd be your number one customer. Better Thanks. catch them nuggets. Yes, yes, yes. And slowly but surely, we'll have people over having get togethers and then word gets around. I'm cooking for baby showers, okay. birthday party, you know, word you of mouth gets around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, and then just word gets around like, hey, yeah, I tried some wings at a party and I wonder if you want to cook for mine. Oh, wow. And so it slowly branched. Like, I was just doing it for fun, really. Just, you know, just collecting That's a couple That's typically how it starts. Yeah, just <laughs> collecting a few dollars here and there just to, you know, just as a little side hustle. But, um... You claimed it on your text. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm going to claim it this year. Yeah, oh! I'm going to claim, claim it this year. Hey, yeah, uh, but because your business just started. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely have to claim it this year. Um, so, um, just in case you just hopped in randomly, he mm. does claim it on his yes. text. Yes, Okay, so tell us a little bit about the obstacles that you have faced starting this business. Uh, fulfilling the amount of orders that I get. Okay. Uh, the common misconception that I have is that I'm a restaurant, but really I'm just a caterer. <laughs> so it's kind of I thought of like, you was a restaurant. <laughs> well, well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, with anything, if you need your nails done or mm -hmm. if you need to get your hair done, you have to set an appointment. Cause right. if not, you know, it may not be a time mm -hmm. or a slot for you. Right. So the common misconception is you can just call my phone. Hey, I need wings in an hour. I'm like, wait a minute. I have to get everything. I have to prepare. You know, anything that's worth having takes mm -hmm. time. You know. So uh, with me just being a one man show, it's just I, I need to prep and 
Yeah. So it's the lack of labor, you would say. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you ever feel like giving up because of it was getting overwhelming for you? Uh, yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I actually did. I was like, man, I probably need to lay back a little bit because it's... <laughs> I'm growing a little bit too fast. I don't have enough. Uh, <laughs> well, that's never, never a bad thing. No, no. I mean, the money is great. It's just, you know, doing mm -hmm. all the driving, the cooking, and then when you're done, you got to clean up too. So <laughs> be done cooking around 7. Don't get done cleaning and prepping for the next day till about 10 or 11 o'clock. Okay, so. okay. Well, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, I guess starting out on new businesses, you got to be aware that if you're really good, you're going to mm -hmm. grow too fast. So you need to make sure you have that, um, I guess, planning just in case this right. happens. Right. You know, and as he said, he did start this out for fun. So he probably didn't um, expect it to go this no, far this fast. Yeah, never. <laughs> well, does your wife help you cook or she just um, she, supports you? She helped, she helped me set up my website. Oh, okay. She, uh, we have our website through Squarespace. Okay. Uh, she, she did the design. She did the menu. She did the uh, the scheduling part okay. of it. She did all that. Just she was like, you need to become more organized. So I'm yes. gonna help you. So <laughs> shout out to the wives, y'all. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what are your future plans for your businesses? My, well, your business. Yeah. My <laughs> Speaking future, it for you. <laughs> yeah, I might have multiple. There it is. <laughs> uh, my future plan is to. Uh, get a food truck, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, with me being a teacher and a future school counselor, I want to be able to have multiple sources of income. So I want to still help children, yes. still be a leader for them in the education system and feed my people too. Feed so, your people too. Yes. That's like the best thing you can do right now, especially in these times. You know, if you can't contribute in doing anything else, feed your people. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so the last question before we get to do something very yummy, and I think I'm going to be more excited than he is, and me and Paisley, mm, yes. but we're going to try a few of his wings that um, he brought over. What are the um, types of wings that you brought for us to taste today? I brought Buffalo Mild, I brought Barbecue, I brought Lemon Pepper, and Garlic Parmesan. Ooh. Those are the top flavors mm. that, that I get. <laughs> Can't wait. So if you can give a golden nugget for the future entrepreneur, um, should we call it culinary or just mm, food service? That, it's all so let's just say culinary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you can give that one nugget, that one golden nugget, what would it be? Now is the perfect time to get your serve safe certification because uh, mm. they're offering it free oh, wow. to, for the pandemic and so that class to get the certification is normally close to $200. Wow. But now the ServeSafe uh, website is offering it for free. Uh, I don't know when the deadline is, but you need to hurry up and <laughs> check and see if you plan on starting a business in the food service industry. Oh, well, that is a good, that is a good nugget. Yes. You know, everybody um, knows that the pandemic has brought on a lot of, you know, turmoil and heartaches. However, it has brought some positive things, yes. you know, a lot of free courses. If you want to finish college earlier than expected, free um, classes, free certifications, or even cheaper. So just checking those re well, resources, I will leave a link. Is there a link? Yes. To um, well, you could just go to the Save Surf website and they'll have it at the top of the page. Like there's, okay. There's no hiding spot where you have to find it or anything <laughs> like that. They'll just say, hey, we're offering free courses. Okay. Well, I will leave that link um, in the description box below alongside of his website link and um, any other things that you have that you want your, well, the viewers to, um, you know, know more about you or be able to have tangible resources to your business. So let's get into this food. I've been waiting. It's been smelling great over here. So we'll be back. Okay guys, we are back. This food looks delicious. So I have wings, if you haven't known. Um, I'm a wing person. I like the little wing. He got them legs or them drums over there, but we don't mess with him. <laughs> He's a traitor. So which one are we gonna try first? Uh, let's try the, I guess the one everybody loves. Let's try the mild buffalo first. The mild, which one is this one? The yeah, orange one. Okay. Mm -hmm. My hands. He likes to, he likes the ranch. I don't. I'm pretty weird around here. Okay. Mm. 
Oh wow. So which one is the recipe you stole from your friend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, if you told me how to cook them, he didn't tell me how to season them. Oh, that's what now, it is. That's mine. You gonna share mm. how you season? <laughs> all I'm gonna say is Tony Sasher is goes on everything. That's all okay, I'm that's all. It. Okay, those are nuggets. If y'all wanna um, steal a stolen business, <laughs> <laughs> just plan. Okay, so which one do you wanna try next? Uh, let's go lemon pepper. Okay. Because that's the next favorite. Okay, so this is the second favorite, is the lemon pepper. Okay, it smells lemony. Okay, it's more of a, a powerful pepper. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as you bite down into it, like you definitely know it's a lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. I like the little garnishings of the, what is that green stuff? Paprika? Mm, parsley. Not, the parsley. Mm, parsley. Okay, I've never seen parsley on wings mm. before. Paisley might like that parsley, no. She liking it. Mm. I'm going to definitely mm. stuff my face after this. So, what is the third favorite? Let's go barbecue. Okay. Now, I'm not a fan of barbecue, so don't really? judge me if I don't like oh, okay. it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it definitely reminds me of back in the day where we have those barbecues where my mom would just put the wings and mm -hmm. do the little bucket mm -hmm. and put it in the oven. Absolutely. Got you some baked barbecue wings. Mm -hmm. That wasn't bad. Let me tell you some more of that. Mm. I like that. Yeah, when most people think of barbecue, they think of like on the grill. Mm -hmm. That uh, that taste of like char. Mm -hmm. the, the taste from the charcoal. It's just it's just frying chicken, but you just put some barbecue sauce on top of it. So you just fried it and you just toss mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. probably what they do at the other places too. Right. So what we're going to try next is mm -hmm. the garlic parmesan. Okay. So this is like my second time ever having garlic parmesan. I think I had it at um, mug shots before. Oh, okay. So let's try this. Mm. Okay. What's your opinion on that one? I don't like garlic. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it wasn't as powerful as I would have expected to be. Mm -hmm. Because normally time I can smell garlic from two years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially with this pregnant nose. But this was actually subtle. And I tasted more Parmesan than the garlic, but the garlic is still there. Like I still mm -hmm. feel the after effects of the garlic. The key is to add butter. Mm. If anything is too spicy, as far as like the buffalo, mm -hmm. or if anything is too powerful for a lemon pepper or a garlic parmesan, add a little butter, it'll take away the taste. <laughs> okay, but so well, that's, that's a new, yeah. That's another nugget now. <laughs> and we'll get to one more of these. Okay, learn me something new today. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish this. I will say my favorite was the, um mild mm -hmm. and i thought i was gonna be the lemon pepper one but the mild and i don't even eat mild wings like i'm a dry season person mm -hmm. but the mild really spoke to my my soul <laughs> so we're gonna finish this i hope y'all enjoyed it if you haven't done it already be sure to subscribe and like my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more black business owners every saturday for the rest of the summer thanks guys Oh, <laughs>